Let's get started. Hey, bro, don't you want to say something to the people? Oh, all right, now, see, we here now, though. This is where, this is where the, like, you didn't do your intro, though. I do it after, I'll let you talk your shit first. Oh, my fault. Nigga Tyrone, right? My son Tyrone came on a podcast, started talking about his survival tactics, brought up a big bag. <laughs> that nigga is dead, bro. That nigga is dead. First of all, you 6'7", you're a target. Already, you're a target in life, real life. Forget, uh, forget zombie apocalypse he just said he had target in you life you are a target already and the nigga mm. gonna say he would survive better than i would like i was born to do this shit like hey. it's me you know that shit that the little the little tiktok it's me nigga. <laughs> it's me like i was born to do it like like literally like hey yo hey people ty versus uj episode coming real soon bro just let it wait. let it happen bro let it happen, just wait, bro. bro. Eventually, it... I'm gonna have two people on this podcast and we're just gonna have them debate who's gonna survive zombie apocalypse who y'all think what the they... If you say Tyrone, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> if you say Tyrone to survive, bro, like, like, if you know me, you know, bro. I was born to born to live, born to win. I'm a winner. <laughs> a nigga Tyrone is not born to win. First of all, the nigga already injured. You know what I'm saying? He just got off an injury. He's already a flaw. He's already a flaw already. I don't have no flaws, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I hurt my ankle back in the day. But yeah, I'm, I was about to say, you got I, a bad ankle. But I revived, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got my stem shot. I'm revived. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I, was born to, I was born to survive. Bro. I'm hearing you, bro. I'm hearing you, bro. But yo, 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 welcome back to another No Records podcast. And happy holidays from you, yours truly and my members to y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? It's the holiday season. I hope y'all feeling yeah, festive bro. and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I got my brother back with me. What's good, bro? What's going on, man? The superstar is here, man. I'm oh, back, right? I'm speaking back, of back. superstar, bro, I got I to gotta show you something. Nah. <laughs> nah, 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 yo, yo, <laughs> hey, hey, I got the shades on. That's what I'm brother. talking about. It's crazy, bro. I forgot mine in the car. I swear I was gonna bring him in. Dang, that's forgot tough. it in the car, bro. That's so ass. That's tough. That's so ass. Bro. I was ready with them shades, bro. You know. Oh damn, bro. I ain't say nothing. I was, I was gonna let it rock. Like I had my, <laughs> I had my shades ready already. To talk my shit with the shades on, bro. You want wear my shades? Cause my hell shit. yeah, give me that. All right, shit. you can take it. Cause this shit hurt my. Eye. Don't hurt mine. I'm a star. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It wasn't. It wasn't meant for you. <laughs> It's meant for me, though. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, put these motherfuckers on. Mm. We here. You need them shades, right? Star status. Star status. I'm here. <laughs> back. Like I gotta say, you know why I call myself a star? No regulars podcast. I was the original. You know what I'm saying? The original man. The it was. He was an OG, bro. Thing, you know what I'm saying? Big they got OG. got all these new niggas on the original on the podcast. Now, nigga, it's me. <laughs> hey, but if you haven't already, follow us on TikTok at No Records. You had thirty-seven thousand followers already. Follow us on Damn. Instagram at No Records Podcast on all platforms on po- uh, what's that? Podcast and platforms: Google Podcasts, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Follow us on all that, and all of them will be in the link dis- description below. Damn, I'm fucking up. You're but crazy. you know, I was gonna. I had to let you wait a little bit to get back in the episode because you know. I don't know why you did. <laughs> the people, the, first of all, I should have been back right when the people was frying me. I wanted to fry them right back. <laughs> we would have did like a video on the TikTok when like they uh, when you reply back yeah. to people's comments. You know me. Hey, you we know, might I have a little. Up, <laughs> hey, I went through the freak of everybody. Ah. Everybody would have got it. Nah, nah, you, ever, you was the first viral video, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was just bashing you, though. I, I like that. I know, you, you like know. being the villain. Hey, bro. Hey. It's tough. What'd you say about Giannis again? That nigga overrated? I didn't say he was overrated. Oh, you said I he said was the worst. He ain't have no skill. It's crazy, though. As soon as I said that, though, the nigga pulled out a bag like the first. I know, <laughs> the right? first five games of the NBA season, like the preseason, he was coming down, shoulder, rise. I'm like, that nigga shooting threes now? Shooting Pull threes, up. pulling up. Has he, he heard you, up? bro. I said, he watched my vid. <laughs> he saw it. He saw me disrespect. <laughs> he was like, nah, bro. his talent, man. Hey, yo, that's funny, though. You know what I'm saying? But nah. I got, I got some good questions. This is going to be a good podcast for you, bro. Because I know the uh, the last podcast that you was on wasn't really the best because, you know, uh, technical difficulties. I didn't even get to put you on Spotify yet. But, you know, I got that's you this crazy. one, bro. Ain't it? That shit crazy. Ain't hey, no bro. Man. But I'm gonna start with this one question, bro. Just get right into it, bro. I know I already know the answer. Your answer to this one. I just want the people to know. 
So since we're talking about basketball, who is one current NBA player or one player that used to play that you would fry in one on one right now? <laughs> in the one on one right now, I'm not gonna lie, right? Uh, you know, you know my my main. All right, so at the time this started when I was playing basketball, when yeah. I was consistently, regularly playing, it was Raymond Felton <laughs> because he was. I said the the way the, the whole argument with all the men, the, how it started was because I said he's the, he was like the backup point guard or not even the backup point. He's like the eighth man on OKC. Like that's yeah. how long ago it was. He's like the eighth ninth man. And he would just come in, bring the ball up, dish it out. Like that was his job. He didn't even <laughs> have to defend. He didn't really have to take no shots. He was that's taking true. like five six shots a game. He didn't really have to do nothing. He just had to bring the ball up the court, set up the offense. I said, bro. I could do that. <laughs> Niggas start arguing with me. I was like, bro, I could do that. And I'm like, already. And then, it, you know, the argument, fly yeah. more, fly more. And I'm like, I'll score on him too. <laughs> it's not that hard to put the ball in the basket. That's true. And then now, right, yeah. years later, a viral video come out, right? Mm-hmm. Not a viral video, but a video with just regular, I think it was like a, a little white boy playing one-on-one against Raymond Felton. It was Raymond Felton? It was Raymond Felton. I seen one with those Brian Scott Brini and he fried that. Another one with Raymond Felton. And Raymond Felton does win. Oh. But he was getting fried. He was getting like he was hitting him with some moves. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to explain to him. Like, yo, I could I could get him some moves. Maybe not now, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't play basketball as much. Mm-hmm. But during that time period, two thousand six. But he don't play either. Oh, I don't man, think he's in shape. Hey, he might hey, he might get that work. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could fry Jared Dudley. Even though Jared he's tall, Dudley, Jared, oh no, he's he's a little too tall. He's like six, 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 seven. That's the only thing not to stop though, because that's why niggas feel like they could stop Scalabrini. Yeah, Scalabrini again, niggas hell. He gave the, the do hell in that video. He did, but like I feel like I could go past Jared Dudley, but he might like shoot over me a couple of times. But I don't know. I think like game to eleven, I might lose like eleven to seven. But I think I'll give him like a seven. Yeah, I think. I mean, I'd you go. never know. Some people may not be good uh, team players, but like. In a oh one-on-one yeah, one on one standpoint, crazy. that's actually true. I'm, I'm a very good one on one player. Like one on one, I could give niggas buckets, but I won't score as much in the five. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, like a one on one. That's true though, because you know, like the the skill gap between NBA and college is really a it big. Really is, yeah. Like people in the NBA is way nicer compared to the niggas in college. Even from D three to D two to D one. Yeah. I mean, except except for the guard position, I'll say guard is point guard is point guard. You may yeah. have people that may be faster. Jump higher, but point guards, point guard, they ultimately yeah, the no. same thing. But the thing that changes the bigs, if you know, you know. Yeah. But I don't, actually, I don't know. I think Division three to two isn't that big. I mean. No, nah, it isn't. Because you got people that leave D3, they go D2. Yes. And a lot of D2 people come D3 all the time. So all I don't time, think it's yeah. that big. I don't think it's that crazy. No, I'm saying the, the bigs is the difference. Like oh, like center, the big man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your center could be 6'11", six, 7 seven foot, but your center in D3 would be like 6'6", six, 6'5", six, six. Six, 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 Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? So. And plus, like, yeah, I know what you mean. That's I've true. I've rarely seen a 7-footer playing D3. You a 7-footer playing D3. Man, you nah, you, you, you ass. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. You <laughs> was too ass. Like, <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. Seven, if you 7-foot, that's like an automatic that's scholarship. An automatic D1. Like, you don't have to be good. They're like, we're going to work on him. Yeah. It's a project. Even uh-huh. like say you can't say you start playing basketball for like two three years, but you seven foot, they gonna give you a chance already. Already, just leave you down there and That's intimidate what people. With, with Joel and B, <laughs> niggas forgot like Joel and B came to the country, mm-hmm. started playing JV. I don't oh know if yeah, you ever yeah, seen the video. yeah, yeah. I did. Was, he was garbage <laughs> already, was garbage, and they was have like they was like oh, we gonna work on him. I think he shot on the wrong basket. <laughs> Everything like he was looking bad. <laughs> now he's MVP talks. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying so. Is he still in MVP talks? Um, I don't even know who's. In. I mean, they haven't they haven't started MVP talks mm. except Steph Curry. Yeah, Steph Curry, KD. I don't even know why it's a it's a debate right now. Who's the better player? Who's the the best player in the league? It's Stephen Curry. Oh yeah, who people saying KD is? Mm-hmm. Nah, it's Def Steph, bro. KD's hard. Can nobody stop KD? But nobody Steph stops for Steph. Curry. Bro. Nobody really can stop. Ah, I got a question for you. What's up? Because you know what I'm saying when I'm on this podcast, this is my podcast. You know what I'm saying. So I got questions for you. It's our, it's our podcast. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Fuck we, bro. It's me. Ain't no I T, bro. Psych, there is I. You just nigga just says some bullshit. Say that, say that, say that, say that. But all right. So look, I had a, I was at work, right? Yeah. Talking to my man Zay at work. We just talking. We just chopping it up. Not doing nothing. You know what people do at work? Chill. Facts. So then, I'm like, yo. He's. We just talking about 
basketball. Just just having basketball conversation. Who's the best in the league right now? Who's this? Who's not? You know? So I'm like, all right. So then cutting my mind, you know me. Very creative individual. So I'm like, yo, what do you think about WNBA players? He's like, most of them are all right. Yeah, you know, the best players is really nice. Like, yeah. they're good. So I'm like, hmm. You think you could beat uh? Because, you know, then I'm like, you think you could beat the the last man on the NBA roster, right? The the 15th man on the roster. Mm-hmm. One-on-one. Could you beat him? Like, in all of the NBA. Like, the worst player in the NBA. Worst player in the NBA. Uh, so, there's people depending in, on the the G, in the G League. That's not in the NBA. That's not in the NBA. That will cook niggas. That will, like, that cook is, That is true. Some things just be on the bench just because, like, moral support. They moral got support. connections. Or they just not good for that team. Yeah. And the team is hoping, oh, just in case. They be just in case players. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the player. If it's, like, some seven-foot big, I mean, think it might be deep for me. I don't guard, think I could. Like, guard-wise. Like, like, oh, no, nah, no. Nah, I don't think like so. Like, I was telling I'm saying to him, like, yo, uh, anyone, any 15th man could pull up to your gym and kill everybody. Yeah, that's and how it is. 15th man on the roster. Mm-hmm. Now, I say to him, I'm like, yo, do you think a guard in the WNBA <laughs> could pull up and fry you individually? <laughs> he says, no. So now, this is what goes to ask my question to you. Now you, a Division three athlete, a basketball player, right? Yeah. Do you feel like a guard in the WNBA could stop you in a one-on-one? The fit the the fifteenth on the roster could stop. Oh, the fifteenth no. The fifteenth no. Nah, nah, I don't think so. But these are, these are pros though. These are professional athletes. Yeah, like, I know, but is, I don't think I don't know if the skill gap between like WNBA and college is as big as NBA and college. You know mm, what I'm saying? But this is still pros. It's though. still pros. They, they go strictly on skill. You're not the tallest person. You're not the shortest either. But you're not yeah, the tallest. like I feel like she's gonna make a couple shots on me. But I think I don't know if this, she's gonna like stay in front of me. All right, what score? Uh, what's what score to eleven? Scored eleven, yeah, I like that. Scored eleven. I went like eleven to six. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you were joking. Eleven to six. Eleven to six. So you're yeah. cooking. Yeah. All right. So now it's ones and twos. Question, right? Ones and twos. Yeah. Eleven to eight. Oh, cause you feel like she's going to. Yeah, she make a couple of three. Oh wow. All right. So that's my other question. I have. Mm-hmm. I said the top five WNBA players. Yeah. Versus your five. Right. Mm-hmm. Who's winning? Leave me my five, like on my team. Yeah. No, your five, like your any five that you know, like people that you personally know that you go and hoop with on a regular. It mm. could be me and the guys. It could be people that you hoop with on a regular. Oh. Your five versus the <laughs> top five in the WNBA. Ah, <sighs> I think we win it. Oh I think we win it. <laughs> yo, 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 like. That's the thing. Well, what be wrong with it? Like, yo, these are professional athletes. These I understand that. I, athlete. That's like saying a high jump. That's a woman, a high jumper. And Honestly, it's just going to you know. be a shooting fest. If I got my boy Q, Q and Abe coming, <laughs> it's just going to be a shooting fest. <laughs> it's going to be like, who can score the most? No defense, bro. But they got some big men. Tyrone go guard that big girl. What's her name? Brittany, Brittany Griner. Tyrone. That's what I'm saying. Brittany Griner is giving Tyrone hell, bro. <laughs> Brittany Grinder is nice. Like, why do we think that like like these girls is is soft or like I don't they think really they soft, but like, I feel like banging. I don't know why. That's you know like I asked this question in the PlayStation party the other day. I asked my son, uh, my son P, like I, I just met him. Yeah, but he's my guy now, literally. But he's a he played D one. Yeah, he's, he's a seven footer. I asked Wait, him where? He, oh, Pierre. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know Pierre. Oh uh, yeah, I asked him. I'm like, yo, do you think you could you know take them one on? He's like, no doubt. <laughs> I'm taking down low, but I'm like, all right, three dribbles. He's like, still, I'm gonna take three big dribbles down to the paint. Back up, I'm like, there's also big ass girls in the in the WNBA too. There's the uh, the what's the name girl? I forgot her name. I forgot her name. The big she, one, the big big one. Yeah, like the, she, the she's one. like six eight. Yeah, mm-hmm. but she got the she got moves down low. Yeah, she pretty, you know, she pretty thick. Word. <laughs> Yo, you're sick. But you bro. still feel like you still feel like no matter even her. No, nah, I think we straight. I think we straight. I think we're good. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. All right, so I'm saying though, even her. Do you think you can get her buckets? Her? Nah, I've seen her fry men before, like trainers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And the trainers is like our height. Like, yeah, yeah. From like five ten to six three, six four. Yeah. And she was giving it to them. She was giving buckets. Like over the top, like lay. Like bodying like, them up. It, lay. So why do you think like if there's five of those, that's gonna beat you? 
I mean, if it's five big girls, I don't think they're going to stay in front of us. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's the only thing. I don't, I just don't think like it could they, it could be like back and forth offensive wise, but like defense, like we probably get some stops. All we do is play defense, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to Rockets Newark, but you know what okay, I'm saying. So you're saying WNBA All Stars versus <laughs> your <laughs> Division Three school. Yeah, Division Three school is winning versus Rockets Newark. Y'all winning? Do it down, Quincy, bro. Oh shit, you give it a rock the most. <laughs> so I mean that nigga a bucket though. He is. I did see that nigga go crazy. That's but you tell my son, Lisa Leslie, bro. She pull up, bro. We think about WNBA all All right, bro. like who, Candace Parker? Candace okay, Candace Parker, Parker Fry and Quincy. Candace, Candace, <laughs> Candace Parker is crazy. <laughs> She's like 6'4". She cooking. Uh, Sue Ooh. Bird. Sue Bird is crazy, Okay, too. it might be a, All right, we might lose. No, nah, no, 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 no. Nah, don't try to train. That's I'm all trying to think because they look. I'm trying to think like they low key might bop the hell out of us. Like I can see their, myself getting their bopped. Their skill is is real skill. Like they really have to use fundamentals. Nah, to they play might. Basketball. Okay, you so know they what? may not have to jump over y'all, but they gonna come down. Whoop, step. Whap, like yeah, they, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. They gonna come down like like really frying y'all boys. But but the first thing everybody think is oh that's a woman. So I'm just gonna use my body. I'm just gonna play. Argh. But they done already been through that. There's a great, uh, I don't know if I can see that. What? <laughs> There's some bikes over there that <laughs> and be like on them. So already they feeling that aggression. Yeah, Imagine I know. Going okay. out there playing, playing. Especially. Uh, and, cake. You know what? I feel like all right, if it was like a seven game series, I feel like we'll lose. I feel like they'll beat us in like a seven game series, but I think we'll get like two games out of there. Mm. So has your answer changed now because I've been talking on it? Yeah, because I thought about it. So your first initial thought is you whoop their ass. Yeah. No, no, it wasn't that. It would be a good game, but we'll win. Mm. That was my first initial thought. Oh, that's, that's interesting. But like now, that. it's like, they they might outsmart us. They might, like, look. These are pros. <laughs> they could, like, I'm saying, they focus on working together. Yeah. Working together, moving the ball. <laughs> they're going to fry y'all. <laughs> like, when it kind of just being smart, like, being a professional, they're going to fry y'all. But the first thing that niggas think is, those are girls. Yeah, I know. But I'm not saying me because I, I asked Chim too because Chim had was on the game. Yeah. Chim had picked it up. He like, yo, I'm frying on him. I'm you, cooking. I'm frying him. I'm <laughs> like, yo, say you get a, a six eight, and she put that thing on you. Ain't nothing he could do. Yeah, no, it's, it's over. It's, it's over, over after like, that. Dang. The average height individual is not stopping him. He'd be like, oh, I'm gonna just lock them up. You don't think six this, eight is tall, bro? That's what I'm saying. You don't think this? And she guards like two twenty five. NBA. He's not. They're not regular. Like high school girls, like these yeah. are the top. I seen one, one uh, is an African girl. She's dark skin, big, like big up top, strong legs. But I'm talking about she a big man. She a big guard. Oh oh, like she come down the court full speed, stop behind the back between legs, shot. I said, what, <laughs> what is going on? Wait, like, she in the like, WNBA right now? No, she's in college right what now. What college you go to? I forgot. It's a, it's red. I just seen the I just seen the uh, the video on the gram. Is she better than that white girl? Bro, From UConn? I'm not going to lie. That was one of the best basketball I've ever seen. Like, a girl do. like she was, I'm talking about full speed off the a board, catch the board, run down the court. Like, how Stop. tall she looked? Like, 6'2"? She looked like 6'3", 6'4". Mm. Nah, maybe. From, Wait. She looked like from 5'11 to 6'2". Okay, okay, okay. From That's still tall, though. Yeah, pretty tall. But, like, it looked, but she's, a, she's definitely, like, big up top. Yeah. So, like, her game, she like Boogie Cousins, like, before mm-hmm. he got hurt. Like, her game was like that. I'm talking about. Catch it off the rim, run down, move, move like like just it was like I gotta find the video. I'm gonna send it to you. I got okay, or okay. you know what I'm saying you could you know I find, I find it in there. like literally yeah. push down, push down the court. <laughs> but, like it was it was so crazy because like dudes can't even do that. There's some dudes That's that true. can't do that. That's true. Full speed to stop on a dime and put the ball behind your back. Yeah, and then between your legs and then up. That's tough. How about that one? You seen that one girl that's been going around viral? The one she's like six three, the big one. That's Duncan. No, that's she's not Duncan, but she's just like big, like she's like a lineman. Oh, I have been saying that. You sent that. I think you sent that. Somebody or sent Chris it. sent it. Chris yeah, sent somebody it. sent it. Yeah, big Sam. And that that's when y'all was like, oh, well, you can fight the yeah. Yeah, I've seen it. I'm not. I'm impressed, but not impressed. Yeah, because I think she's just big. I think yeah, I think she's just bigger than everybody. But I think on the next level, uh, like WNBA, that's another thing. That's that's a big thing that they uh that people will do. They did that shit with Trey Young. They even do that in football. They're done with Lamar, Lamar, uh, Jackson. Fucking Lamar Jackson. They always do that when they talk about size or what they want people to be. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But it's like 
if this person's been playing this way their whole life, why would they change up now? Like, why would that's you, true? Why would you try to move? Because they put hand? expectations on you and they think like it's, you're not gonna pan out. It's yeah. just they think you one of them niggas. You did the same. <laughs> you did the same thing with Zion. You like, oh, he's too big. But if he's been playing big as fuck his whole life, that's not gonna change. If he's good, I mean, look at him every, now. What the fuck he doing? He the big as hell, you. I'm and sorry. I promise you, bro, he's gonna still do what he did as long as he doesn't get. As long as the, if it's not injury, if his injury's not affecting how he played. DJ, he's 330. Wow. Hey, that's a big boy that's going to move everybody out the way. He still, if he, he moves well, he's 330 moving like he's. Did you see that video of him running like little shuttles? He looked tired as hell. People get tired, bro. No. They're all tired, bro. <laughs> like, damn, like, what, like, why he 330 he right gotta now? Get, he's going to get back in basketball shape. He's not in basketball shape. He's not playing right now. He's wilding. He is definitely wild. He's bugging out crazy. in Louisiana, bro. That Baby. Popeye's chicken get into his thighs, bro. All the food is good over there, bro. Oh, my God. That's why I want to take the next trip. A nigga's home with me. I'm trying to go to Louisiana. They got the food. I just want to go there to eat. Mm. We go to eat, we come back, bro. Because <laughs> I know they got the good country food. They got the good seafood. They got good Oh, everything. they do got good seafood. Nigga, mm. My son Tom was talking about he trying to go to uh, Mardi Gras. When's that? I don't know. <laughs> but he said he just said he want to go down there for that. Mm. I don't even know what Mardi Gras is. I ain't gonna lie. That's like a big festival, I've heard. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a big ass festival. Like, um, what's that called? I don't even know, but it's just like a big party for like a week. And like you just run down the streets. Everybody got like little chains and stuff. There's like, I heard there's like little fake voodoo shit. Oh. Some shit like that. Oh. Yeah. Well, yep. Hey, we'll see you, bro. Nah, you don't really lie. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh. All right. What's a what's a fast food place that you could eat at for a whole year straight? It's dangerous, right? Oh my god! But I'm a burger lover, bro. You know that, but that's my favorite food. So I could there eat like a fast food mm. for a whole year, though. I mean, fast food could be like Shake Shack, Five Guys. I be eating. I could eat Five Guys all day, every day. I lied. Mm. It gotta be like a restaurant. Does that count? Um, that's not, it's not really fast food. Like a place like Burnett Barbecue, that's not fast food? Nah. Okay. Like a chain. Okay. Oh, Five Guys. You do Five Guys for a whole year? I'll do Five Guys for a whole I'm year. doing Chipotle. I ain't gonna lie. I'll, I'll eat Chipotle. I'll tell you, that's what I said. Dangerous. I it is. I sit there and eat <laughs> burgers all day, every day. <laughs> burgers all day, every day, bro? Every day. If it was up to me. If I ain't, if I wasn't gonna Breakfast, fast, lunch, and shit, <laughs> I would get creative, my nigga. A burger, a burger salad, nigga. A I mean, you smoothie. could. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting. I would go so crazy with a burger, bro. I, I mean, you burgers. could mix and match shit. Can you put an egg in the Five Guys? Could you put an egg in Five Guys? You probably can. Fuck it. As mm. a year, I'm about to try everything. I mean, Chipotle, bro, because Chipotle is a healthy shit. Good, good idea, too. But, like, the thing is, like, does Five? what time is Five Guys open? Like, you have to go there whenever it's open. Like nine or ten. Okay, then you straight. I didn't, they open that early. Yeah, they open. Early. Okay, because no, I know. Yeah, Ch- open like, I think. Yeah, I think Chipotle opens up at like noon because nobody eats Chipotle like ten o'clock in the morning. If you eat Chipotle at ten o'clock in the morning, you fucking you a fel- you a felon, bro. Fuck it. <laughs> I mean, it, that's, that's lunch. both of them is it's lunch food. Like if you were yeah. going there, so it might, it might be ten. It might open up at ten. Okay, that's straight. That's straight. Oh, what's a white song that's still fire? Like. Like, it came out a mad long ago that when you hear it, you'd be like, yo, this shit is heat. All right. So, the song in GTA, right? We got, niggas got to make a trailer to that, too. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> you you answering this pretty quick. Because I'm already know, but you know me and music. I love music. But it's a song that be like, dun, 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 dun. You know <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking That's about. That, that song right there, the most elite song ever created by the Caucasians. Literally the best song ever. How about you? How about those? You ever heard, like, The Fray? How'd it go? It's like, where did I go? Oh, that song's crazy, too. That's, That's some heat, That song's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Because my mom, my mom like country music and like uh, Z100. Oh, so when okay, I was okay. young, she used to play mad Z100. So mm. a lot of like, a lot of like the, the white songs, I fuck with. Like I could I could listen to. I could, you feel me, bump. Like I know the words to. Mm-hmm. I'll be walking around the mall and I'm singing like, what the fuck? How I know this shit? It'd be like that. I ain't gonna like Maroon 5. Right? <laughs> but it's like, that's what my mom used to bump. Because she ain't when I was listening to like, you know, the rap shit. But she couldn't help it because my siblings did. You know, everybody in my family did. So, she so you might as well. Yeah. My my parents didn't like that either. They didn't want me to listen to like songs or curses in them. Yeah, curses or like, 
like big booty hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I'm understand. Wild. Don't like shit like that. I don't understand. Like, I don't like. What's the what you think with cursing, bro? Like, you would mean, you let your kids curse? No. Like until what age? Until. Like, of course, I won't want fifteen, sixteen. Okay, that's fine. Like they don't know not, not to curse in my house. Okay, okay, that's, that's not true. how I grew up. I, to this day, my mom don't even know I curse. Oh really? Yeah. Like, like not at all. But they've heard me in my room. Like they've heard me like because I'm loud. In my yeah. Room. So they've heard me. Like we playing the game. I'm cussing the game. <laughs> they've heard me. Uh, I, one time I'm not gonna lie. I think my dad even heard me say some mook shit to Fritz. Like what you- on a game. I don't know. Like, but I realized I was. I, <laughs> <can't> even, <laughs> but I was on a game and I was singing a Fritz song. What was it? How this all go? I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't remember. I just be bothered. Oh, Fritz, it's your tag, bro. Down there, go ahead, Fritz. Hey, <laughs> shout out Fritz, bro. Man, but at I, thirty minutes, so I was singing a, a Mook song to Fritz, and I'm just saying like Fritz shit. I'm just saying Fritz, like just going yeah, on, just yeah. talking. And then I take my mic off. My dad's in the room right next to my, like the laundry room right next yeah. to my room. The nigga just in there. So I'm like, I was just loud as hell. <laughs> so I'm like, I know this nigga just hurt me. <laughs> so he's like, fuck it. But as far as cursing though, like I've never. My mom thought she heard me curse one time. She's like, Are you cursing now? I'm like. This is like two years ago. I'm like, I didn't curse. <laughs> my brother, my brother was like, Yo, you definitely did just curse. She just said the word shit. Uh huh. It just like I curse. I curse a lot too. Yeah. But some when I'm around my parents, it just go away. Mm. I think my dad heard me cussing. Actually, like yesterday or two days ago. Really? Yeah. I mean, you be hearing my dad sometimes on the game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I be yeah. I be cut I be cutting the mic off so y'all don't hear me get tweaked on. Oh, he be he be catching you. Yeah, he be uh, catching. He be like he be like he what he say. He's like, if you curse it one more time, turn that game off or some shit like that. Oh, man. I'm like, damn. Especially, it'd be like when we playing 2K or some shit like that. I'd be like, fuck. I'd be yeah, mad loud. Like, I'm like, fuck. damn. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And I just hear the can't footsteps come. I'm like, oh, shit. Hey, you just can't. it just be like, but I see that we grown, though, but it's still the respect, you know, yeah. that you're supposed to have for your parents. But, like, I never, like, I still understand, like, who, who made curse words? I don't know. Like, who said... This is a curse. Like, who said fuck is a curse? I mean, I, there's, I, there was a show on Netflix about the origins of cursing. I need to watch that. Because who who's the first person? It was... It, it's uh, the, the host is Nicolas Cage, and he just talked about where the cur- where, uh, curse words came from. Like, each episode is like a new curse. <sighs> that's kind of funny. I know. But who's to say I believe in it? That's what I'm saying. Like, who... Like, that's mad random. Like, yeah. why are these words curses? curses? Like, first of all, who created the English language to say that these words... You can't words say these words. Mean? How about the middle finger? Why is this bad? Bad, right? I mean, that's the thing. And I remember in middle school, they used to be like, nah, this is the Chinese middle finger. Yeah. So we used to just be like, this is a class. Like, <laughs> at everybody, like, you know, like, we know what it means, but we yeah. think the teachers don't. But like, but like, it makes no sense. Like, how does a finger offend somebody? Mm-hmm. But it offend you now. Like, you really, if somebody, like you and somebody, like, of, you know, opposing. Yeah. If somebody go like that to you, I don't know if I could do that, but... <laughs> when somebody go like that to you, you know, you know what it means. Yeah. So you know that person disrespecting you. So you can't say like, how, how is it even offensive? I guess. I guess it's just over time. Somebody just thought it was mad offensive, and just kept dragging that shit. Or just like signals or meanings and stuff. Like we know, like a like a eyebrow raise means something to somebody. Mm. Like, like you, like, I, oh, so it's just like, like shit like that. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Mean, yeah. Do you think there really is a Chinese middle finger? I, oh, I don't think, know enough Chinese people to ask. Like, <laughs> like is there really a Chinese middle finger? Like, damn, that's a really good question. I feel like we just made that up. We had to. We had to make that shit up. I wonder who did it, though. Who was the first nigga to be like, yo, this is a middle finger in China. Like, that's crazy. That's fucked up. Like, why it this? Is fucked up, yeah. Like, what's that have to do with it? Yeah, what is that? E- like, why? I don't know. We fucked up individuals. Because I, I ain't never lie. seen no Chinese person do it. Like not even in no no TV show or no nothing like that's what I'm saying. Or a movie like a person be like, yeah. <laughs> or like anime or some shit. Like, I've never seen that shit. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, and then they said like this was like a fake middle finger or some shit like that. I don't know. Yeah, let's see that too. I don't know, but this this world is a weird place. Uh-huh. Alright, so how how often, right? Yeah. Like can can you now, right now that you're 22, right? Mm-hmm. 22. Can you curse in front of your parents? No. Still no. I don't think so. I think, like, if we're having a conversation, like, if I'm talking to them, I can't, I'm not going to curse. But, like, say, like, like if I'm coming out the, out the room and I said, like, shit, like, I left something, they won't notice. But they be noticing on my podcast when I curse. I know, you had the little curse uh, meter thing. Yeah, I can't do it no more. That's too much work. Sorry, parents. I was about to say, that's, that, that's, that was a lot of work. Even you blocking out, 
You about to block out a lot because I cuss oh, no, a lot. No. I, don't, I don't block that you shit. You don't block it out no more? Nah, we wow. straight. I was about to say. We straight. That's too much work. I, I naturally just be cussing, not even knowing. Yeah. But. Sorry. Sorry, people. Because, like, my dad be wanting yeah. to send it to, like, his friends, but he said, like, I curse too much. I was like, I, I know. That's why I ain't going to send the episode to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Freaking Corey. Corey's mom got mad at her, mad at him the first episode because he was talking about non binary tigers. And, like, his aunt is, like, a women's activist. And I guess she got offended by that. <laughs> I'm like, so we can't talk about that shit no more. That's tough. Hey, that's tough. You but mean, who who told you that they were in tune that shocked you the most? What do you mean? With your podcast, like who told you? Yeah, yeah I watched that shit. Oh, one of a security guard came up to me and asked me about it. Mm. Like he's a he's a security guard that not he a young security guard or older. He an old guy. Like oh, he's sure. you probably like he's at my games. He's not security. He's a cop, so he'd be at the games all the time, like at security, mm-hmm. and like he knows me and Corey and stuff like that. And I was go, I was going to class, and then he was like, "Oh, what's up, man?" I was like, "What's up?" I was like, "Oh, you got a pot, you got a podcast, right?" I was like, "Uh, yeah," and he was oh. like, "And this was like a while ago too. I think it was after Corey's episode." He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "Oh, I'm about to start watching on YouTube." He's like, "He's like, keep keep the good work." I was like, "Oh, wow." And then the guy that sits next to Corey on the on the table thingy that mm-hmm. does the announcements, he he knows about it too. I don't know how probably, he, probably Corey. I don't know. I don't know if Corey's... Probably, probably Corey. Maybe. I don't probably know. Like, Yo, I'm about to be on this podcast. He probably did. He probably <laughs> didn't know about it. But that, mm. that was the... That was, those two are probably the only people. Mm. Yeah. That I... Like, especially with the, the cop guy. I was going to... Like, I, in my head, I was like, what if I just said something about it? But I'm like, nah, I'm not going to be that person. I'm just going to be like, be like, what's up? And then he was like... And then he brought it up about the podcast. I was like, oh, wow. That's actually... It's actually tough. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas actually know about that. The podcast has been going crazy on the TikTok. Congratulations. First video. Hit a mil. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Hit the mil. Yeah. Like, like, what do you like? How do you be feeling? Because you're a humble guy. You know me, bro. (laughs) (laughs) I try. Like, I try my best not to, like, let that affect me. Like, I try to just, like, act like I've been here before. I don't want to be too excited because, like... There's going to be times where it's going to be really high, mm-hmm. and there's going to be times where it just goes like, I'll have maybe like 100,000 views, and then there's times I'm going to be at like 2,000. Mm, so I don't want to get too high, and then when I get low, it's going to make me feel like sad and shit. Mm. But yeah. So I try to like stay level-headed as much as I possibly can. Even though there's times I want to go crazy, but like I just can't. I can't do there's that. There's nothing wrong with congratulating yourself. Yeah, it's saying, not. yo. Because like, you ain't even do a vid like, to say, yo. Thank you for 10K. When 10K was big. Yeah. You know, we started, you know what I'm saying, from nothing. Like, that's a real thing. Like, I know. started from nothing. Like, you not even really knowing, like, yo, what the fuck is this? Not even knowing how to edit nothing. Yeah. Know? Or what the, what the fuck is, is this? A mic? Like, you're not even, <laughs> like, we're not even knowing. So, yeah. it's big. It is a big accomplishment to you. Yeah. We get 30, about to be 40K? About to be. 40, we know, might hit saying. it after this episode. I think we're at 37 right now. We're, we're going to hit it after this <laughs> We're going, we're with 40, 40K? Yeah. I might just fuck around here 45. Heard that, heard that. I ain't been wrong since 2019. He ain't been wrong, bro. He said, UJ called <laughs> it, bro. UJ said he's going to be the first viral video. And he was. I ain't going to lie. Shout out to you, bro. I said it, man. But you know, it's crazy, though, because niggas don't listen to me. They don't listen to me like I be lying, man. <laughs> It'd be like that. But like for me, though, like with this podcast, bro, like all my life, I felt like, I'd be like, like, you know how you be thinking like, like you just... Destined to do something. Yeah, you, come on. Yeah, I know you. That's why I said you know. So I was like, I, I had a feeling like I, I'm gonna be something like, not like I, I didn't think I was gonna be doing like maybe a normal job. I always thought I was gonna do something different. I didn't know what it was gonna be, but like when I heard a podcast, I was like, you know what? I'll make a podcast. And like I don't know why. Like I was just, I just like gravitated over to it, and it was just like it just felt natural. And then once I started learning how to do it, to get into it and stuff like that, it's just like you know I actually do like this. And then like. In my mind, I just felt like this is going to be good. I don't know why. It's just in my mind. Like, no matter what, like, what I do, it's just going to be good. Mm. And then look at where we're at today, bro. I have the date oh. on my on my little podcast book of when I started, when I made the idea. It was June 22nd. That's tough. And now, what is it? That's very tough. December 10th, we had 37,000. It's like you could branch off into other things. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Know? We're going to eventually. Yeah, Maybe of course, after a of couple course, years. Of course. No, no, no. Like, and probably next year. God nah. willing, God willing, next year that motherfucker gonna blow. Yeah, bro. Like, you know I, like I feel like not like next year, like as in like a year from now, but like two, yeah. 2022, we're gonna have like this time today. Stay consistent and watch. I ain't been wrong since 2019. This time, you said this time today. This time next year, if mm. you stay consistent. Let's see. Like, where you think we're gonna be at? 
You'll see, bro. All right, I'm hearing. <laughs> Yo, hey, bro, I'm gonna hey, save this clip, wrong. bro. I'm not, I'm not a fortune teller. He's not. He well, just has it. Never wrong. Never wrong since 2019, bro. No, Stamp. But yo, you been tuned into Netflix lately? Somewhat, yeah. You watched that new um Kevin Hart thing? I started it. I watched the first three episodes. It was type decent. I'm like, why is this nigga? There's a dead body. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, I was just. It was like, it was. It was interesting though. Yeah. So I'm going to get back to it for sure. Okay. Okay. Like for sure, going to get back to it, but I haven't finished it. It's pretty good though. I ain't gonna lie. The ending is tough. Ending stuff. Yeah. Also, oh, it's done. It's not a. It's not a. Nah, it's it's not a continuing thing. I think oh, it's just a one time thing. But you know, there was there was conspiracies going about around that. They were saying like, uh, Kevin Hart really like killed somebody. Like that show is about his life, but it's it's a random conspiracy. They said like, cause so in the in the show he's an actual comedian in life he's a comedian. Mm-hmm. In the show he's in like a superhero movie. Like in the in the show he he plays a character in a superhero yeah, movie. No. In the in real life, he's a he plays in a superhero movie, like a new movie about to come out. And then he said, like in the show, I guess he divorced his wife and he got caught cheating. Same thing about in the fucking in real life. And then the whole thing's called true story. Hmm. So they were saying, oh, maybe Kevin Hart killed somebody. I don't believe Kevin Hart killed the damn thing. But it's just funny to hear though. Oh I, ain't even, I love hearing conspiracies, but that should be funny. I ain't letting Kevin Hart kill me. So. That's ass. Conspiracies. What conspiracies you got for me, man? Oh, I got. I'm glad you yeah, asked, bro. You, man. you ever watched? Um, you ever watched the show Manifest? Oh yeah, that's my shit, bro. It's crazy because the show became popular when we came back from California. Really? Yes. Like that's when it really, like, took off. Mm-hmm. Like right before, and then it blew up. Like right after we came back. Dang. So. But we... yeah, I'm knowing though. So I was like, that's what we was making. I don't remember if you remember. They was making jokes on the plane, or after we came back from the plane. I was like, yo. Niggas not even really here right now. Oh, that's Everybody what you was talking about. Different, yeah. Two, two, uh, two people that that left that went on the plane with us. Yeah, and came back, got into relationships that don't never get into relationships. So we like, yo, well, this is not real. We are not back in the real earth. Like we're somewhere else. Like my son came back and got a girlfriend. It was like, wait, who? Who are you talking about? Nigga ain't saying that shit on this. <laughs> but, but, um, but yeah. So, but you know that actually happened. Like, all right, so this was in 1955, right? It's called, it was um the Pan Am Flight 1914. They came from New York City, and they was going to Miami. They left uh, July 2nd, 1955. It was going to be like, you know, New York City to Miami is like two hours. Mm-hmm. So as they went off, after like an hour, they couldn't find the plane no more. Like, all connection went lost. It, it was like the plane never existed type shit. And then 37 years later, on May 21st, 1992, in Venezuela, they see a plane coming in, but they don't see it on the radar. And when the plane landed, like they was talking to the guy on the thing, he was like, "Oh, this Pan Am flight uh, nine fourteen or whatever, and we're about to request landing or something like that. We don't know where we are." And he was like, "Where are you guys coming from? New York City, and uh, we're supposed to be landing in Miami like uh, July second, uh, nineteen ninety five, nineteen fifty five. But the guy was like, um, "It's May twenty second or May twenty first, nineteen ninety two, right now." And the guy was mad confused. He was like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, it's been 37 years. He's like, no way. So when they landed, there was they had security on deck to like ask him questions to see what happened. And then the guy was like, nah, F that. He just dipped. He yelled at the people, dipped, got back on the plane. And the people behind him was just scared because they heard, like, I guess they heard the pilot um, stressing out. And plus, you could tell it was a 1955 plane because the, the planes... The technology on the plane. Yeah, and like it looked like an old-ass plane. And it was like, how is this plane like still like able to fly? So the the plane went to Miami and landed, and they got um, taken off the plane for questioning. And to this day, they don't know what happened to those people. And like the people stayed the same age, just like in the in the show. like They stayed the same age how they were, but it's just 37 years later. So... Because this is not a popular thing like this that you're talking about. Yeah, it's not a really a big thing, but it actually... But it should be. That's what I'm saying. So That's crazy. Where did you find this? Like, where, like, where I seen it know? on... Um, I be going... Uh, what is it? Reddit and TikTok. I be seeing it on TikTok. Mm. Like, some guy was talking about that, it. That's, that's some shit. Like, like, like what happened? That's what made the storyline for the movie so good. Because mm-hmm. it's like, yo, this is super unlikely. And what was it? What happened in Manifest? It was like five years later, right? Five years later, yeah. Then, but then people were thirty-seven years into the future, so their friend, some of their friends might have died, low key. Mm-hmm. Like if they were older, 
like say like a 55 year old man was going to see go back to his wife he went on a uh business trip in new york city he's going back to miami his wife probably dead right now and that's crazy like just imagine you was on that flight bro i mean like 37 years that's that's, that's scary as fuck that's Boom, mad like, okay, scary, scary bro fuck. like what do you think happened like they were saying like freaking aliens picked them up I'm not jacking up. i don't know about all that i don't but. think aliens are ready to invade us or to interrupt anything they got going on. I don't. F- I think I don't, we're gonna fuck with the aliens before they fuck with us. I don't think they want to invade us. I feel like they're already here, to be honest. If all right, so if they here, they are here. They're they're chilling. Yeah, they just. I feel like they mess with us though. Like you ever, <laughs> like they'd be like alien children that just want to mess with the humans. They'd be like, oh, let me go fly around mommy's spaceship. Let me go pick up some humans and like scare them a little bit, drop them down, make them think, make them act go crazy. And then kids be talking about, oh, I seen this or yeah. some weird shit. Like like you know there was a. There was an alien sighting in Africa like a couple years ago. Like, not, nah, uh, it was a minute ago, I think in the 70s in Zimbabwe. It was like a school, and there was like an alien mothership landed in front of the school. And they said the kids, I, I read this on, or I heard it on Joe Rogan's podcast. Like, he interviewed the guy that was making a documentary about it. And the kids was like, some of the kids was like distance away from touching the, the little beings. Mm. And like, Nobody ever talks about this whole thing, and everybody will like be wondering why they don't talk about it. Because, and they brought the people back twenty years later to talk about it, and like the way they act and the way they're describing it, it sounds like it really happened. Because think about it, with all those people in that one area, it's hard for people to like to act and fake that really happening, especially with every eyewitness eyewitness things. Some connected. one person is gonna come out and say, "No, nah, this isn't really real. We all faked it." One, at least one person. But if everybody yeah. is coming together... That's what happened. Right? Everybody was saying it. And it was like, it's a group of kids. Like, why would kids lie kids about that? Lie. They yeah. don't lie. Kids don't lie, yeah. So they're saying, like, maybe that really did happen. Especially, like, it was during school hours. And they still are affected by it this, till this day. And some of the people, they're like, they don't want to tell, like, their spouses or loved ones because they don't think they're going to believe them. Mm. But, like, I think they were making a documentary about that shit. I want to see that. that I don't know what it's terrible. called, though. That sound jumping, I ain't gonna lie. That's what I'm saying, yeah, bro. You be sitting there scared, like, what the fuck? Sitting there watching that. <laughs> well, uh, but I just feel like, I feel like those aliens, just, they're just, they're here, but they're just, like, watching us. I ain't gonna lie, I think, me and aliens get along. What do you mean, you an alien? You might be an alien, bro. I'm not from this world, so I'm already <laughs> You already know him, bro? Yeah. That's tough. Like, I just feel like. I don't know. They they watch us. I said this on other podcasts. They they watch us just to make sure we don't do nothing stupid. Oh, to destroy the entire world. Yeah, because like, we could have done that shit. Mm-hmm. Like during the wars, if we really wanted to, we could just send a nuke out and just nuke everybody. To be honest, we could just nuke every single every state, every country. If we wanted to, we could just end the we could end the world. That's what I'm saying, bro. If they really wanted to. Like, but I feel like they were just they just here to freaking watch us over. And just make sure we don't do nothing stupid. And maybe test us a little bit. I feel like the minute that the U.S. go up there into space and go and find something. Well, not even U.S. Humans go yeah. up there and find something that they're not supposed to find and fuck with it. I mean, it's deed for us already. It's I feel deed. like if they was already he- if they wanted to kill us, they would have done it by already. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. But the minute that niggas go up there and fuck with them. It's over. It's over. Like, these movies really be making us think we could do it. Mm-hmm. I said this before, bro. This People. Not, these movies think that these could go hand to hand combat. You cannot hand fight hand an alien. What? They are going to kill you. <laughs> oh, kill you. Are you serious? Just... Like, these hillbilly redneck people be thinking we're the smartest beings in the world and in, in the universe. Like, no. no, bro. Like, there's way more. There's, like, they say there's, there's like, a theory about aliens that um, there's some aliens that's not even, that's so advanced that you can't even see them. It's just, they're just particles. Like, they just morphed into, like, Thin air or some shit like that. That's a stretch. I think that's a stretch. That is a stretch, but I don't know. <laughs> Particles is a stretch. Like, it, just imagine. Like, you ever watched? I was talking about. You ever watched that movie Lucy? No. It was. It's a movie about some girl unlocking a hundred percent of her brain. I've been did that. Nigga, you haven't unlocked a hundred percent percent of your brain. I, I know what percent I use though. How much you use? I lose fourteen. What? <laughs> you dead serious? I use fourteen, bro. How you know you use fourteen? Because I know. That's you know when? The 14 is telling me that I use 14. Yo, this nigga's crazy. It said the average person uses 10 or 11. I think it was like, I think it's 10. Eight, eight or eight to 10. Eight to 10. I use 14. <laughs> so what's your, what's your IQ? You think your IQ is? I really want to take an IQ test. Do you think they have those anymore? I think that shit is a disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, think I'll go there. I'll fuck around and think I'm like, 
You feel me? And then that shit will tell me, yo. If you ask, if I, you can ask anybody around, mm-hmm. I'll always tell you I'm a genius. Yeah, I know. So, fucking, I really want to take an IQ test and find out if I'm a genius. Like, what are the questions? Is it just like math and English, or is it like psycho- psychological questions? It's probably a uh, common sense question. Oh, like how you would think with, oh, okay, I know what you mean. I know like, what you mean. What would you do in this situation? Mm-hmm. Or like, like, maybe a couple math equations. Hmm. Yeah, a couple science stuff. I think the highest IQ, Einstein was like History. 160. That's the highest IQ, bro. I'm 164. <laughs> I'm lie, but, but in the movie, like when she reached 100, percent she just turned into matter. Like she just turned into the world. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's how they say about the girl experience ultimate, ultimate mind, ultimate everything, yeah, ultimate it like became smarts everything, and just disappeared. <laughs> she just became everything, bro. I and she just leave the earth, like her her physical body. Just just became the world. Just became the world. It's yeah. crazy. <laughs> like she's gone. She's the world. <laughs> yes. That's what happened, bro. I don't know. I, don't, I think that's that just... shit. Whoever made that shit that. <laughs> <laughs> that movie was tough though. I ain't gonna lie. Like she all was right, like Alright, maybe the movie was tough, but that I the, the ending was, was booty. The ending was really bad. Like she just vanished. Like you ever watched um Kung Fu Panda with the, the freaking turtle? You ever watched Kung Fu Panda before? Yeah. Remember the, the old the old, the old turtle, turtle yeah. and he went to the into dust? Oh yeah. That's yeah, how yeah. she was. I'm not gonna lie, bro. What's your favorite like like all time like old movie? Like uh like classic kids? classic kid cartoon movie. Or like Rugrats. Yeah, Rugrats. The Rugrats, Rugrats movie. movie. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, the series of Shrek. That was fire. That shit is the funniest shit you could ever watch. Like me at my grown age now, bro. My big age now. If I sit down and watch Shrek, I'm sitting there laughing, like, like dead laughing. <laughs> it's no low key how dark old too. You are. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like there was a part in it when it was like I think it was like the three little bears. And like they took the mama bear away, and then <laughs> <laughs> they took the mama bear away, and then you see they killed the, you see the little bear rug, and it was like, and I was like, oh, that's crazy. It was like with Lord Farquaad. I was like, no, that was no, OD. And they killed her. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Like shit, like that. And, and they made it put. They put funny. it in the back so and nobody would notice. Can't see it, but if you like, that's like adults or older people will see that. Like. Ain't that the, like the mom over there? Like, did they take away the... Like, nobody like, would ever like that. notice that, bro. But now, nah, Rugger- nah, Shrek was fire. I got I got a lot of dark humor, so I like shit like that. Hey, bro. I watched a lot of Rugrats. Another one was... um, Oh, what was another movie? Fucking... The Jimmy Neutron movie. I like the Jimmy, the Jimmy Neutron, Neutron movie. The Jimmy Neutron and, and Timmy Turner or the mm-hmm. Freddy Odd Parents combined. That now, those are the, the collaborations, that bro. Hard too. Oh my gosh. I feel like kids will never understand that. That got me thinking now. So, all right. What's your top three, like, cartoons, right? Yeah. That looked mad good when you was young. Like, what do you mean, look mad good? Like, you saw these cartoons and you like, yo, I like her. If you're saying that you watched a cartoon and then, and never, never fantasized when you was young as a kid, and never fantasized, like, oh, I like her. Like, she looked mad good. Like, this is my crush, but she's a cartoon. Let me think. Uh,. I can't think. Well, who's your three? All right. My three? All right. It sounds crazy, though. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So my three is um the girl from Futurama. Which one? The one with one eye? Chill. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the one girl eye? from Futurama, bro. I'm Yo. not going to lie. I don't know, bro. She just, when I was young, bro. Now I turn on Futurama, she used to look mad good. Like, even though she had one eye. She had one eye, but she was fire, bro. I think they did that on purpose. That's what I'm saying. Her body was word. Her body was crazy. <laughs> so we got um Lois. From what? From Family Guy. Oh, okay. Lois okay. was OD. Like Lois, she might have been the housewife, right? She, you know, she got a regular button up. But if you watch Family Guy, I ain't gonna talk too much about it. You know, you know what I'm saying? When she was ready. Lois was tough. Oh, my um, God, bro. And then I'm going to say my last one, bro. Damn, I'm going to my last one. How about that How about that girl from Danny Phantom? Not the not the golf I one. I know exactly. That's, <laughs> I yeah. I, hey. Hey, I'm knowing. This is the girl that he liked. Yeah. The little mommy. She looked good. I'm, <laughs> I'm knowing. But, nah, she not in my, she not in my three, though. Everybody just said the, the mom from Incredibles. The mom from Incredibles was fire, but my mind personally, like when I was mm-hmm. uh, trying to think. Nah, the future on one is other. Static Shop, his sister. 
I used to like his sister when I was watching Static Shock. Oh, um, no way. I used to like his sister. The sister? Yep. Hey. She's like, Virgil. I was like, oh. <laughs> I know it Yo, already, wait. Who? I'm trying to think. I can't think of the shows, bro. Uh, I'm not good at uh, recollecting shit like that. I'm trying to think of that's funny. The, the one from Static Shock is Static like, Shock. Well, oh, oh, oh! I remember one. Um, uh, Tara from from uh, what's his name? Teen Titans. From Teen. Damn, she <laughs> was. Oh, yeah, I'm knowing. I'm knowing. It was definitely fine. <laughs> definitely fine. I'm sitting there at the K watch. That's like, oof. Now nah, you crazy, <laughs> hey yo. I <laughs> watching that shit. Bro, niggas know, bro. Hey, bro. bro. Yeah, y'all know y'all people, y'all hearing us, bro. They hearing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Who I'm trying to think, bro. Nah, the one for Futurama is funny, bro. Nah, the one for Futurama, it sound crazy. <laughs> it does It does sound crazy. One eye is crazy. She had one eye, but she was fire with one eye. <laughs> <laughs> she was fire with Yo, one eye, bro. bro. What now, the fuck? Bro, I'm telling you, bro. She had one eye, but she was crazy, like. She look even though her voice her voice actor the voice actor got to be let me look it up bro if the voice actor is ugly bro would be mad bro because I was jacking the voice actor got to because everything everything just looked too good together bro <laughs> yo oh what no 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 it's a nigga isn't it this is the lady that played her bro hey bro hey bro that's you that's not that's you. It's not, bro. I changed my mind. That's tough. That's <laughs> tough. That's tough. That's tough. Yo. But. Oh. Yo, there's been a lot of good music coming out. This, especially today. A Boogie dropped the tape. PMB finally yeah, dropped yeah, one yeah. after two Five, years, bro. bro. It felt like 10. I know, right? Tell uh, to nigga. He let everybody pass him, for real. Hey, bro. He's just enjoying his life. He got a kid now. Mm. But. Freaky. I want to talk about NBA Youngboy, bro. He been on some weird shit. Nah, for sure. Sure. Like, but he just he just came home from jail, so I kind of give him a, a pass because you know he was. But the makeup shit though. No, 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 no. The makeup shit was some weird shit. But he even said he felt uncomfortable in it. I think it's for like a music video. Oh, okay. Because I don't like, know he's just doing it. I think. Hey, bro, video. you remember what So Luminati said, bro? Do you mm, remember what he said? Yeah. About the cloning people. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I didn't see that. So. Kodak. Oh. Kodak came back. He looked kind of weird. But I mean, that might be just prison. He was in there for two years. He might have got like a little. And the song he dropped though, that he just dropped, mm-hmm. uh, that shit's hard. That shit tough. That shit I ain't get to listen to that shit yet. I'm gonna send it to you. I'm about to put him on. Hey, bro, put it in the group bro, chat. That got me thinking. That got me thinking, bro. What? So now, <laughs> this nigga Eminem is mm-hmm. known as a top artist of all time, like a top rapper of all time. Yeah. Still to this deck, like till <laughs> to now, niggas bump Eminem. Eminem yeah. I don't know anybody. He dropped he dropped the album like I think like two years ago. Yeah, it was right? two years ago. Two years ago. Anybody that knows or listens to that album. Mm-hmm. We live in we live in North New Jersey. So like I don't know nobody. I don't either. That listen, knows the lyrics, say the fans. I don't know nothing. So it's like how because I think I think I I saw the thing that said the album went number one. Where? It at the time it went number one. Oh, okay, one. okay. So it's like where did it go number one at? Probably somewhere in like Michigan. I feel like people like in Michigan. he like hands down. He had his time. Yeah, he did. He was a legend. Like he he is a legend. He had his mm-hmm. time where he took he took over the industry. Yeah, but in recent times, nah, I don't think I'm so. I'm not knowing because there's, there's other rappers that still be dropping projects and still be fifty. Snoop Dogg just dropped some shit. Yeah, that still be relevant. Like where we still listen yeah, to. Yeah, it. not not even we don't really listen to it. Yeah, but like besides Fifty Cent's uh, power shit mm-hmm. that we will hear, but yeah. Snoop Dogg just dropped some shit. Nobody's really bumping it, and the numbers is not number one yeah. or top ten. But they saying Eminem. So how is Eminem's numbers so high? Like, like who is know. listening to him? I don't know. That's yeah, a good question. Because, like, I remember he did come out with that album, I'm but probably, I, I didn't. see the year, because I don't, I don't like to be, you know. It might have been. It probably was two years ago. I think it was before quarantine. Like, I, I want to know if it shows, like, exactly where. What was it? You know, was it Kamikaze? Nah, it was. I think it was one after Kamikaze. Oh, it was 2020. Music to be murdered by. That one came out 2020. He got Juice World on here. Ed Sheeran, Young M.A. Young Yes, Mark. yes, 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 yes. 
<laughs> what the hell? Don Tolliver on here. Oh, no. Yeah, it was 2020. So, about two years ago, probably. And it, this joint did really well. Like, it did really well. I never I heard a single song on but there. But I don't know him any and, songs on there. Him and Young Mob, bro? I never heard that yeah, at man, all. I don't, like, I don't, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know how, who was bumping. Like, it can't be nobody from our area. Nah, like, from hell no. Nah. Maybe a couple, but nah. I feel, I'm telling like, you, like. As far as, I'm talking about the hip-hop rap community. Mm-mm. I don't know who's bumping. Telling I ain't people, seeing nobody repost him, like. Nothing like I don't know how he's doing so well. Every other old artist is not doing as well. It's as not he is. doing as as well as he is. Like that, people from his generation, mm-hmm. whether you bust the rhymes, anybody, yeah, that's if true. they drop something, nobody's touching him. Mm-hmm. But it's like how I'm telling you, isn't people in like the the north, like Michigan, freaking Iowa, Indiana, maybe, bro. Them people up there, I feel like a lot of people in Michigan like him because of that. Like, I, eight like mile. he got, he has the. Uh, I give him the utmost respect. Mm-hmm. He, We're not bashing. He him, did his. Know. That's what I'm saying. He did his thing. Mm-hmm. In that, like back in the day. Yeah, yeah. But how is it that He's, he can still do it? Like still put up numbers. Hey, bro, it's the industry. The industry crazy. The industry just be making shit up. I don't know, bro. That's what. I don't know, bro. Hmm. If we could have relevant, like. Extremely relevant people drop something, mm-hmm. not extremely, but somebody very relevant drops something and it won't do numbers. That's true. And that then, is true. And then academics will sit there and make fun of them, like, oh, he only sold 97,000. That's really what academics really <laughs> yeah, does. Right? He just be making saying. fun of niggas. And we really, he only sold 97,000. But just this person troll. is always in the shade room, always da da da. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Like Young Thug's most recent, uh, most recent album that he dropped, which is really good, mm-hmm. only did. I think 98 or 97. Like, he didn't even hit... That's it? Yeah, no, the first week. Oh, the first week? I think it's more now, but the oh. first week. I wow. And that. Dang. Really good. But I'm pretty sure M, his shit probably went crazy the first week. Like, one... F- but maybe there's a lot... Maybe there's a lot of Eminem fans, and when he finally dropped something, there was, like, the guy excited and just excited went ran right to it. Everybody just ran to it. I don't know. Or it could be an industry play. Could be. You know, everybody be talking about the industry. But at the same time, he's he's big with like you know, with white people. Cause yeah, he, he's like the he's like the the bridge between white and black. Yeah, he's so, true. That's true. So I don't know. But I got I, like I want to meet somebody. Like I feel like if I would go right mm-hmm. to fifty people, right, and ask them in our area, they listen to hip hop and rap. Do you know any songs from this? Uh, do you know two? I'm gonna say two songs mm-hmm. from this. Um, this freaking this album that he dropped from the year it was twenty twenty yeah, and then I'm gonna go to a, a album that from a relevant person that did just as well and ask them if they know and see if they yeah. know. Dang, that's ass. That's true though. That did, I'm talking about the numbers. Like, say they they sold the same amount of copies and mm-hmm. ask them if they know this, mm. but they sold the same amount of copies. I know what you mean. I know yeah. what you mean. But I just want, I just want to figure out what area. I wonder. People I hope you find that one that. dude, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, hope, I want to know what area people are bumping them and them. I hope he walks into it's your job one day, bro. Cause that's crazy. That is like, true. It's not over here, people. I'm sorry. Like we ain't bumping them like that. M and M like that, bro. I'm sorry. You're not. You're not about to pull up to the to the club. M and M is bumping. That's true. And you're not about to um pull up. Let me see. Let me see before I keep talking. And they uh, the M and M people come and shoot me. Hey, bro. Let me see, bro. They know you as a villain. Already, yeah, they, y'all already know I'm a villain on the podcast. <laughs> I'm trying to see if they would like tell you on oh, the charts. There we go. You found it. It went number one. His last album went number one. The Australian uh, albums. Australia. Yeah. All right, I see chart, it. Peak position. I'm trying to see what the U.S. Billboard 200. It went number one. Billboard 200 it went number one. Billboard. Top rap albums. It went number one. It went number one. Yes, in twenty twenty. I didn't even. It, U.S. top R and B and hip hop albums. It went number one. That's crazy. That's O.D. <laughs> Bro, I don't know any song from there. Don't know one. So how song. is this number one? When we look at the number one artist, like the number one hip hop, I didn't even know he was number one. Would be like somebody like Lil Lil Baby, and you'll know. Yeah, this the reason the, why. The reason why, because you'll hear his songs everywhere. You go to the mall, you can hear him. You go uh-huh. to the club, you'll hear him. But it's like, yo, who I don't is, know, like, new, how? I don't know no new Eminem songs. Especially from that album, I don't know nothing. That's crazy. Number one in all of that? Number one, That's bro. crazy. Number That's one. OD. So it's like, wait a minute. Hey, bro. 
We're looking at the industry now. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, like. What the hell? <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was, I had said this on my Finsta one time. That's what made me even think about it. Yeah. I'm like, yo, who, who bumping Eminem? <laughs> and that's what Corey said. Yo, I don't lie, bro. I bump Eminem. I was like, do you know any songs from this, uh, this album that he just dropped in 2020? He's, He's like, um, nah, not, not really, no. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you bump his old shit. Eminem is goaded. His old yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Goaded. But, but how did his new shit hit number one? That's a weird question, bro. Hey, let me know if y'all bump Eminem, bro. Let me know. Yo, let me, I want to I wanna see which one of y'all people bumping Eminem. But we're going into the good segment of the show, bro. I got some good pick a side questions. But first, before the pick a side, bro, I got a question for you, right? If you if you were forced to fight 500 animals, not 500, I'll give you 100 because 500 is max. So you're forced to fight 100 animals with a dagger. Or I'll give you a small sword. But you get to pick which animal, but they have to be fully grown. Like they can't be no babies. Mm-hmm. Which animal are you picking? Hamsters. Hamsters? Yeah. Full grown hamsters? Yeah. That's true. That's a good one. I'm stepping and <laughs> stabbing in all of them. I was saying like sloths. Like what? The sloths is big as fuck. I know, but like they don't move. I'm just going to be running around. They're not going to catch me if I'm like in a little arena. Hamsters, they might just run up on you and just start crawling up on you. They little scurry up on your shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if it was hamsters, hamsters. it will be 500 hamsters. Yeah, 500 hamsters. That's a that lot. Should, that should just might make me cringe. Just like, <laughs> just like exactly. Hamsters. Like, imagine they all just start running up on you and just start biting you. I'm taking I mean, them. That's, that's what everything the sloths, too. Sloths not that fast, or, though. Unless you get 100 animals that don't attack and you just have to kill them. I get But I'm picking a sloth, but I'm stabbing the fuck out of sloth. Um, I ain't gonna lie. 100 is OD, though. A hundred slots. hundred of any animals or there. I know. That's why I had to say full grown because niggas be gonna kill baby baby lions and shit. A ba- hundred baby, baby lions. A hundred baby lions are taking a guy out too. They, they would too. I ain't they would, they would. That's funny. Alright. Would you rather have the ability to not feel pain or get injured at all? Or have the ability to control what people do? All I know is pain. So now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like you can uh, control any, you can make people do whatever you want, anybody. That was, that was easy one. Make everybody do what the fuck I want them to do. I hope it's not for the reason I think it is. Nigga, like of course, for bad. Yeah, you was <laughs> sick. It's for the evil. <laughs> you was it's not for the good. <laughs> you was you know sick, I'm bro. I'm taking the pain, bro. Because after yesterday, bro, people, if y'all know, I had a, I had food poisoning yesterday, bro. That shit was the worst shit in my life, bro. Deed, deed, deed. The pain, pain goes away. I know it do pain go do away. Not last but forever. I don't. Ugh. I'm cool, bro. Like, yo, if that's how cramps feel, bro, I would not want to be a girl, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I be feeling bad for the girl. Bro. I'm sorry, bro. Women, I there. applaud y'all for birth and cramps once a month. I cannot do that, bro. I had Jay I over here. My, in my leg, I be like, <laughs> get ready to die. <laughs> but I had Jay over here helping me like I was like, had no legs. Mm. <laughs> she was taking care of me and shit, but I applaud y'all women, but I can't, bro. I felt like somebody stabbed me in my gut. Cringe. <laughs> but you gonna control people? What you gonna control people to do, bro? <laughs> what are your What are your evil actions, <laughs> man? What is What is your wrongdoing, bro? That's tough. That's tough. <laughs> if I can control anyone, <laughs> I'm already knowing, bro. <laughs> I think the people already know too. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, use use the evil man. Bro. If I control, <laughs> if I control anybody and anyone when I want to, late night. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sick fuck, bro. Hey yo, you sick, bro. Let me let me get to the next question, bro. Hey fucking yo, yo. How big do you think the rock is that killed the dinosaurs? How big you think that shit is? I think that's cap. Oh my fault. I think that's I think that's already cap. I think that's cap too. I don't think niggas is killing no dinosaur with a rock because you can't even kill a, a freaking a dog with a rock. The dog. I mean, the the rock got to be big as fuck, and you have to take it and smack it on the dog. No, I mean like you know the the meteor. Oh, 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 oh. You think, I, think, I think you're talking about like, like oh. somebody took a rock and was throwing it. Like no. caveman <laughs> was taking a, a rock and throwing it. At him. Nah, I'm like. What? Now, how big you think the the meteor right that killed the dinosaurs? 
I think that's Cap too. I feel like that is Cap too. I ain't gonna lie. I think the dinosaurs ran out of food. Mm. That's and that's why I they went extinct. Yeah. I thought because like they said the supposedly the meteor was six miles long, but like if it's a six mile wide thing, wouldn't the Earth, Earth is just big as fuck? Yeah. Like wouldn't the Earth just like maybe like have like little particles like break up or some shit like that? Mm-hmm. Especially coming that fast, and like. The dinosaur, what, did the di- dinosaurs die on impact? They were saying, like, there were particles went into the atmosphere and the dinosaurs suffocated or some shit like that. I'm, I don't believe that. I don't believe that either, bro. I believe they died from... First of all, there was the the, um, the animals that ate each other. I, I ain't been to science class yeah. in, the, in the wild, so I don't it's remember. It's been a minute, people. Yeah, so the animals that ate each other yeah, and they used to kill each other, they probably all... The same thing is going to happen with humans. Humans keep killing each other. Eventually, mm. Run out of end. food? Yeah. That's true. So, um, and then plus the ice age came too. That's true. That's true. It went from being mad hot to mad cold. Mad cold, yeah. But mm. hey, what if like this is a random thing? Like, what if like the media was like a spaceship and the it was aliens that was actually the rock and they just came and killed all the dinosaurs? <laughs> That'd be tight fire though. <laughs> that would be fire. That'd be a tough ass movie. Like you just see aliens come out the ship Honestly, and just start you ever shooting some shit. Things. Where it's like aliens is I forgot. It might have been a game, a video game. I think it was GTA. Where the aliens is on top, really controlling everything, like like, like a simulation. Yeah, like a simulation. <laughs> like they really like control everything, and we just sitting here stupid as hell. Just like, like <laughs> you believe in that simulation shit. Like we in a, like we in a loop, not a loop. Like somebody controlling us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You think we in a simulation? Yeah, no. I don't know about yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, no. Hey, but at the same time. If we are, I'm a, I'm a rebel. So like, you gonna you gonna find your way out the matrix. Yeah, heard that. Heard that. Fourteen so percent. So is it is it your max is fourteen or are you gonna grow? You gonna get out there? I never. You never know. That's but right tough. now, I'm knowing it's fourteen. <laughs> it used to be eleven though. It used to be eleven. When was it eleven? It was eleven when I was a uh, sophomore. <laughs> sophomore high school. And then you gain another three percent. Yeah. What was that seven years later? About? Uh, 2019. 2019? We wasn't sophomores in high school. No, I'm saying 2019 is when I... Uh, oh, God. That's when I developed. The extra 3%? Yeah. Oh, so that was four years later. The, yeah, the last time I was wrong. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, I got the last question for you, bro. Uh, would you rather have the urge to sneeze, but you never sneeze, or always feel like somebody's tickling your foot? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. Like you walk around and just you got that tickling feeling on your on the bottom of your foot, like that uncomfortableness, or you just feel uncomfortable to sneeze. Like you just twenty four seven. Like, 24/7, like ah, ah, ah. not like you're about to, but it's just like you like you know that you be like, but you don't sneeze. Like probably like every like hour or so, but forever. I don't want no man tickling me. So I think <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna go with the sneeze thing. But you know how uncomfortable that should be. Like you ever like about to sneeze and you be like, right, so damn. Is the tickle all day long? It will. It will come and go. I'll, I'll let you. It'll come and go. Like you'll just feel like the the sensation, like somebody like like that little weird uncomfortable well, feeling on the bottom of your foot. Gaze out like fucking giggling. <laughs> you like He's sitting there chilling with the bitties. I'm like, <laughs> like that shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think um, cause I be mad as hell. Like you know when you about to sneeze, you be like. <gasps> And then it goes away. Like right. fuck, like I need this shit to come out. I would force the fuck out of that shit out. Though. Be, ah, <laughs> <laughs> so, I think I'm, nah. I'm gonna have somebody tickle my foot. No, I might go if it. It's I'm gonna go with the tickle. If damn, cause that's crazy. I'm not sitting there giggling all day, bro. I'm a gangster, bro. It's not even like it's just uncomfortable feeling. Like I imagine something to, in your foot I'm just not, like bothering your feet, and it's just not even your shoe. It's just like your foot. This is how it's inside your foot. Like, it's never going to go away. Fuck it. I think I'm going to go. I don't, the sneeze thing, that shit, if that's all the time, that's just, I don't know. I can't hide that. You yeah, can that's hide true. the tickle. Yeah, that's you can true. Straight fix that shit. Yeah, but if you sneeze, <laughs> you, you can be like, those sneeze, yeah. fuck. Mm-hmm. So you're going to pick the tickling thing? Mm-hmm. I think I am too. That's, yeah, that's good. But that's all I got for today, bro. You got any other shit you want to talk about? Um. Yeah. What you want to talk about? I got a question, bro. What's up? Do you believe in love at first sight? Why did Fritz Fritz ask me that before? He did? Yeah. On the podcast? 
No, nah, he asked me that on the game. He was going to bring that on here. Because the game is where real politics happen, bro. <laughs> Literally. Do I believe in love and first sight? Well, the I, first it wasn't me. Hmm? It was Fritz. It was Fritz? Yeah. Because I think we had a, a conversation one time. Talking on a lot of a lot of politics one time. Hmm. Not too long ago. Like, Jaylene was there and uh, Fritz's girlfriend was there. Oh, okay. I do yeah. remember that. I remember yeah, that. Sure. All right. So, with love at first sight, it's like, it's because... You can't fall in love with a person, like, off rip, off, like, how they look and shit like that. You fall in love with a person over time and shit like that. So, like, love at first sight is just, like, a saying, to be honest. It's probably, like, lust at first sight, whatever that shit called. I don't know if I'm using that word right. No, no, yeah, it is. But, like, I feel like you fall in love with a person based on, like, how they are, but, like, you're attracted to them in the beginning, but that's not, like, you're falling in love with them. You fall in love with a person over time. And the things that they do is, like, you just fall in love with that. And you just, I don't think you can do it, like, on site. Like, you can't just be, like, like like a love potion. Mm. Mm. Even though, like, when you be saying, like, I'm in love, some shit. Like, I, know that's, I know that's what you be meaning, bro. <laughs> I'll be saying that shit on top. But I'm, I'm joking. I know, you, I know, I know it, you're joking. But it don't sound cool to be like, yo, I'm in lust with her. That's sound weird. <laughs> yo, I love her. <laughs> yeah, but I think it, it, over time. Um, hmm. So you so you feel like so within your situation, right? How long does it take for you to can you love somebody in two days, or can you love somebody in a week? Could you fall in love in a week? Is that I mean? It depends on. I mean, like with me and Jay, I think it was like I knew she was like for me. (laughs) I know you cringing in your seat right now. It was like for me. It was probably like it was probably like. Hmm. You know, I didn't want to be too excited. I didn't want to get ahead too big, me make it feel like she she the old she the shit. But it was probably like a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks to a month. But then a couple it weeks to a month. But like it depends on the person. Like some people, like may might fall in love in like two days. But like if it's that right person, then you're straight. But how if it's you, not, how do you know if that's is that right person though? It's just over time. It's just you just realize like you but could you go could through. Be fascinated with. With more than one person. Yeah. I feel like once you go through a lot of stuff with that person then and you can get through it, then you know that's your person. Because a lot of people are just like giving up on things when things get too hard. Mm. Message. You know what I'm saying? But never give up, bro. Mm. Never. All right. I got another question. Do you feel like there's degrees to love, right? Could like you levels? Love, yeah. Pretty much levels. Like, could you love somebody more than you love someone else? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I don't think that's possible. You think you think there's just a certain level? Like I think it's love. Like, oh, okay. Like, I think it's I love you, you love me, I love my mother, I love my dad. Like, that's love. Mm-hmm. I could favor somebody. Oh, okay. I could favor that my makes... mom more than my dad, but I love them both. Okay. I know what you mean. I think I know what you mean with that one. But I, do you feel the same way, though? I mean, yes and no, because it's like... I mean, what you said with the favoring part, I think that does make sense. I think that's really what it is, like favoring one more. But it's like, hmm. Like, I feel like the love you have for your your friend is the same. Like, are you just hold somebody to a different, like, pedestal. Like, you hold your mother to a different pedestal yeah. than you do your friend. Mm-hmm. But love is love. There's just one thing. Like, there's no, there's no lower love, no higher, higher love. Higher love. It's just love. Like That makes sense. Like... I don't know. Like, if you like something, you just you just favor it more than you favor the other thing. But you can't like one thing more than the other. Like is like. Yeah. Okay. I I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, like say I like this. Like I like drink ginger ale, and I like, but I like Pepsi more. Mm-hmm. It's just like I favor Pepsi more. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes sense. That makes but sense. You, yeah. But you like them both. Like, I like them both. All right. But now, does that translate with hate? Uh, no. I think hate is hate. Just by what you said, mm-hmm. I feel like hate is hate. Or you think there's levels to hate? Nah, I think hate is hate. If I say I hate you, I hate you just like I hate uh, chocolate. <laughs> you no, know nah, but I mean, there's okay, but with hate, there's there could be more reasons to hate somebody. Like, mm. like there would be more reasons for me not to. There's more reasons for me to hate this one person than there's more reasons for me to hate chocolate. So that okay. the people would think I hate that more because there's more reasons. Really? But hate at the end of the day It's still hate. hate Okay that makes sense Damn, we sound like philosophers 
I don't know. I am. 14%. <laughs> so do I got 12% now? Damn. No, you don't got 12%. No. I'm, I'm stuck at 10? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'll give you 10. You're right. cool 10, though. You ain't right. got 9. Jordan got 8. <laughs> Shout out Jordan, though, Shout bro. Shout out my son, Jordan. Bro. I ain't even bring my nigga Jordan, though. He was supposed to be on the episode last episode, but he, he a hoe. Bro, I'm supposed to be on like 50 episodes. Bro, we only have 15. Exactly. No, I'm no. supposed to be on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm supposed to be on every episode. Hey, bro, whoever I bring on here, it's not a guest, it's a co host. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm No, no, no. This, this is. You the co host right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you the co host right now. Hey, yo. This is, this is the UG episode, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the general episode. The general episode? But anyway, back to, you know what I'm saying, what I'm saying, bro. At what age do you feel like it's appropriate to get married? Do you feel like you can get married too early? Is that a thing? I or mean, can you get married too late. I feel like I feel like getting married is just a timing thing. Like if you're financially stable and you're ready to get married, I feel like all right, I'm talking about age wise. What's is the there, age? Is there an age wise where this is too early? You're too young or you're too old? Like if you 70, what the fuck? Are you <laughs> <laughs> you 70. I mean, the hell are you doing getting married? I mean, like, I feel like, like, what if you're 70 and you never got married before? You just want to have that wedding experience. I'm some people just want the wedding and shit like that, but I mean, like, I feel like the good right age to get married is like 25. You're wow, 25, 26. Yo, cousin, bro. We're, 25, 26. We're about to be, I'm 22, bro. Yeah, bro, you about to be married in three years. Congratulations, my brother. Yes, lost sir. Me, lost me, lost me. <laughs> you about bro. to find your girl next year, bro. Saying it right now, bro. We doing the, the the show, bro. We doing the game show, bro. The Bachelor, man. For all the, <laughs> <laughs> all the ladies out there, man. We gonna host the show. You know what I'm saying? For the love of UJ, they used to have the old show for the love of Ray J. I used to watch it when I was little. You know what I'm saying? Back in my old house. But now we gonna change it, bro. It's for the love of UJ, we we'll have a bunch of contestants. You know what I'm saying? All to find love with me. They gonna enjoy their life. You know what I'm saying? Coming out uh 2025. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, anyway, forgot what I was talking about because I had to explain my show. You was talking about what's the right age to just get married? Oh yeah, okay. There we go. Back, back, back. Good morning. I say like yeah, 25. Why? Because I feel like. What is wrong with you? I mean like. All right, that's not like the right age because like if you find a girlfriend at twenty four, like you're not getting married at twenty five. Mm-hmm. Of course, that's any situation. Like, but I feel like if you're okay, so say if you're with a girl like five plus years, then soon like you should get married. Like you probably gonna get married in, like a year or two, maybe. Unless <laughs> you just want to keep being his boyfriend girlfriend for the next like couple years. When when do you think is the right time to get married? Oh. Um. <laughs> Cause I think I, my, I ain't gonna lie, I'm the wrong nigga to ask though. But not not wrong, but because I got fourteen percent. So, <laughs> um, I, when I was young, I used to say the age 27, 28 was like a good age. Yeah. But then as it become more of a reality, that changes. <laughs> what are you pushing that shit to? Shit, like I'm pushing that shit like my thirties though. I ain't gonna lie. Are you gonna? Do you think you're gonna have a kid before you get married? God forbid, but low key, I just I just feel it, bro. I hope I really hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. But stay safe, kids. Uh, yeah, wrap up. <laughs> message of the day. But, yeah, message of the day. Yeah, use that. Use that willy. Don't be silly. Use the willy. <laughs> but nah, I just feel like I don't know. I feel like I feel like somebody gonna try to trap me. I got a, I got a good head on my shoulders. We gonna trap I'm dead me. serious. I feel like somebody gonna try to get me. Dang. Yeah. That's tough. Cause that happened to my. Stuff, but I, you know, what I'm saying, I yeah. know somebody who's in a situation like that where mm-hmm. it's like, um, the girl dead. You like she dead had this nigga child because she felt like he would be a good father. Mm. Dang, that's ass. I feel like that happens a lot. She felt like he would be a good father. I feel like that happens a lot, and he is one of the best, one of the best daddies I know. Pause. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That was crazy. Pause, pause, pause. That was wild. Anyway, anyway, anyway. What's up, my brother? You got anything else you want to talk to me before I end the podcast? Let's see, let's see, you know what I'm saying? Let's see, you know what I'm saying? You got any conspiracies you believe in? Uh, Nah, I ain't believe no fucking conspiracy. Nah. (laughs) I just be living, bro. Mm. If I see it, I just know something ain't right. I hear it. 
Sunday, right? And I leave it alone. I know, leave, I know. Do you know me, but I leave it alone. These exactly. conspiracy theorists, they like go in. They've been going looking into haunted houses. I remember the TV show. I ain't going in no yeah. fucking haunted house, bro. I used to watch that shit a lot. No, it was entertaining. Let them know. Yeah, people let them. do that shit. Yeah, not I. <laughs> oh, cool, bro. I feel you. I feel you. But so, dang, I'm out of here, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's tough. That's tough. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't politic too much. Hey, bro. I'll get you on the next episode. You can politic a little more, bro. Oh yeah, I'm definitely. That's tough. <laughs> That's the <laughs> shout out to you, my brother. Thank you, you know for coming saying, on another you know episode. Saying, you know what I'm saying, saying, bro? And shout out to y'all who watched the whole episode. And follow us again on No Regulars on TikTok. Follow us at No Podcast on Instagram. Follow us on all um, podcasting platforms Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, No Regulars Podcast. Like the video, comment down below. Anything you want us to talk about, any topics, any conspiracies, anything. People, don't be afraid to DM us. We are not, we are good people to talk to. Don't you DM like? me. Suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't that stuff But you can talk to me bro You know I'm a good soul to talk to You know what I'm saying Happy holidays from the members You know what I'm saying sorry, Happy sorry. holidays bro No regulars Fleet bands we here man Gangsta bro You know what I'm saying We different They regular no regulars man Gangsta I'm gonna really go get it I'm gonna really go get it